Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. Here I am again as promised that I will discuss more about Navle in detail. In this video, uh, we will cover more about Navle question format, exam timings, question breakdown or weightage of different species and the most important how to start preparing for Navle. And in the last cue card, I will share uh, with you all, all the top 20 topics or the most important topics to prepare species wise. Uh, so let's start. Navle or the North American Veterinary Licensing Exam is available in two window slots. One is in November and December, the other one in April. So basically it's a multiple choice question. So there are a total 360 multiple choice question and out of which 60 are pre-test question. That is, uh, they are unscored, but the trick is you don't know which question it is as they will be mixed in rest of the question. So uh, the total timing for whole exam session is 6.5 hours. So there will be six blocks, 60 questions each and 45 minutes is the total break time to split between each blocks, right? So now uh, if we talk about species wise question weightage, then for canines and felines, there will be 23% each. That is total 46%. So this is the most important uh, portion to prepare, now you can understand. And then there is equine with 16% 16 weightage, bovines with 15%, porcine with 6%, caprine and ovine combined 3% weightage, poultry 2%, pet birds and others 3% combined and then the camels 1%. Okay, so uh, this is all about the question breakdown by species. So you can understand which species you have to start preparing first, then like so on. Okay, so uh, later there are four major competency domains. So the number one is the clinical practice, <clears throat> which include all the species and is of 70%. Our main focus should be on this domain to prepare for NAVLE. It includes all the species. Then there is preventive medicine and the animal welfare which is 15% of the total. Uh, this includes public health, environmental health and animal welfare issues. The second one, the third one, sorry, is the communication. Uh, communication with clients, with veterinary professional like this is of 8%. The last one is practice management, which is total 7%. So our main focus should be on clinical practice and the preventive medicine along with preparing for the other two domains as well. But yes, you have to start with the most important first and so on. Okay, so now uh, let's discuss how to start preparing for this exam. So there is, there is one, the one is focus, which needs to be there in order to succeed in any exam or goal. Then there is consistency, which is a must to reach till the finishing line and then there should be proper guidance, uh, like how to start preparing. <clears throat> so first of all, you should consider taking a test series. Uh, this not only helps you in sorting out the important topics to focus, but also it gives you a kind of routine and a set of target. It will help you in setting daily uh, small, small targets to achieve and makes you more consistent in pursuing this uh, Navle preparation. So there are few test series like vet prep, Zuku, etc. You can think about mine. I prefer Zuku for BCSC exam, which is the first step to clear. Then a vet prep for NAVLE preparation, right? So focus, there should be focus, there sh it, your effort should be consistent and there should be a proper guidance, uh, which includes prop, uh, buying a proper test series as per the exam. Then focusing on the most important topics of each species first, then referring to the good books. So you should always refer good books. I would suggest Merck Manual, Saunders Navle Comprehensive Guide and Nerd Book along with the test series. So you should always uh, refer good books alongside the test series because test series gives you a kind of an idea uh, what sort of questions there will be and what are the topics to focus on. So you should always think about referring to good books, discuss and learn in detail uh, about each important topics 
like that okay so uh, the next and the most important slide i think is the important topics right so first we will discuss about the canines the important topics of canines this is the uh, topics these, these are all the uh, system wise topics if you can prepare these topics also you can cover almost up to 80 to 90 percent of the canine question part so the first one is endocrine it includes hyper hyper uh, adrenocorticism hypothyroidism diabetes cancer lymphoma osteosarcoma mammary gland tumor mast cell tumor oral tumor and uh, it then there is toxicity ethylene glycol toxicity chocolate toxicity rodenticide toxicity opi metal toxicity in cardiovascular system you have to focus on heartworm uh, dilated cardiomyopathy teratology of pellet ecg basic ecg reading Uh, the p wave qrs complex like that outflow tract obstruction then this ventricular tachycardia pvcs uh, pericardial effusions and shunts so these are actually the important topics if you can prepare these also these only then also you can be a little confident and you can cover up to 80 90% of the questions then uh, orthopedics include ccl rupture hip dysplasia the most important ivd ocd panostitis hod ho patellar luxation osteoarthritis then neurological examination uh, or neurological system includes seizer hordes syndrome vestibular uh, system vestibular syndrome sorry myelopathies upper motor neuron uh, disorders lower motor neuron disorders then ophthalmology include uveitis glaucoma ulcer corneal ulcer cataract cherry eye proptosis in parasite you have to focus more on gi parasites all sort of uh, worms hookworm tapeworm roundworm heart uh, system uh, heartworm lung parasites urinary uh, system it includes types different types of calculi and uh, the treatment part urinary incontinence different conditions of urinary incontinence polyuria polydipsia renal failure glomerulopathy then there is infectious part infectious system which include cd parvo kennel cough lyme disease lepto rabies and the fungal infections gastrointestinal includes gdv mega esophagus pancreatitis exocrine pancreatic uh, insufficiency vomiting emergency medicine you have to focus more on the fluid therapy the basics of fluid therapy shock different types of shock blood transfusion and different uh, blood types of dogs and cats here you have to uh, learn more about dogs different uh, blood types then dermatology uh, includes flea allergy dermatitis mites immune mediated skin diseases pyoderma atopy then the other topic the last topic is pyometra so these are the important topics you have to start preparing first in detail like basically you should know each and everything about all these important topics if you can prepare these topics definitely you are way ahead then the other uh, topic which you should also focus alongside these topic are the dental formula the temporary one and the permanent one estrus and anesthesia uh, circuit types okay so uh, this is it uh, you can take the screenshot of this uh, slide also so that you can uh, think about start preparing these topics and in my next video we will discuss one by one each topic and will give you <laughs> the important questions for exam from the same topic so uh, we'll do the next video and we'll discuss one by one each topic of canine first we'll start with the canine species so uh, thank you guys for watching this video hope you find it insightful and uh, okay we'll do our best next video we'll see thank you thank you so much